Hello everyone, my name is Evan Schwartz and I am the founder of the law firm Schwartz, Conroy and Hack. We are a law firm that represents business and individual insurance policyholders in claims and lawsuits against their insurance companies. We make the insurance companies keep the promises they made to their insurers. I'm here today to talk to you about long-term disability claims navigating the complexities. My firm for over 25 years has been representing the disabled professionals and others in claims and lawsuits against insurance companies involving long-term disability insurance policies. And I wanted to give you some information concerning how to deal with these claims. And we're gonna start and go right into things with understanding what kind of long-term disability insurance coverage you're dealing with. So if you're a lawyer and a client comes in and they're going to talk to you about either making a claim or having a problem in a claim or what they need to do in order to manage their existing claim or denial, um, we're going to get into some of the basics and then we're going to move through some of the things you need to think about and issue spot uh, to navigate your way through the complexities of long-term disability insurance and the claims that get filed under them. Um, so let's, let's talk first about everything, of course, starting with a policy. And when you're in the long-term disability world, if you're dealing with an individual, it's going to start with the policy or the policies. And there are lots of different types of policies in the long-term disability world and you want to make sure you know what your client has in order to figure out what all the issues are and how you're best going to be able to unlock the door to the client's money. Uh, or if you're on the defense side, uh, how to deal with those claims and if appropriate to shut down and lock that door to the client's money. In any event, let's, let's start with... Uh, the basic individual disability income insurance policy. The policy that somebody goes to a broker and buys. Um, typically over the years, that is professionals, healthcare professionals, and other white collar professionals are the ones primarily who get marketed these policies. We will occasionally get individuals who are non-professionals with these policies as well. Typically, those are CEOs or business owners more so than anybody else. But most often, in my experience, we are representing uh, the healthcare profession, lawyers, accountants, and business owners when it comes to these. So the, your, the first one is individual disability income insurance. And the question is, do they buy one policy? Do they have more than one policy? Um, a lot of these policies include a rider which allows the insured to increase the benefit over the years without additional medical underwriting, only with proof that they're earning enough money to qualify for the increase. So if they have additional policies that were subject to what we call a future increase option in the policy, they might have additional policies, but those policies should contain the exact same language as the initial policy from which the future increase options flowed. Sometimes people have multiple policies that they purchase separately at separate times, either from the same company or different companies. And you want to make sure that you have the full panoply of those individual policies so that you know whether or not there are going to be nuances in language or other issues that you need to consider. Another form of um, disability insurance for business owners. Now we're going to talk about two different types. One is disability buyout insurance or DBO, which is a form of what was traditionally called key man or key person insurance in the life insurance world, but it's the same thing. It provides money to buy out a disabled owner, partner, shareholder of a business. So if someone's a sole practitioner, they're not going to have any usable disability buyout insurance, but if there's more than one partner and they have those policies, those policies are, are going to be something you're going to want to know about if they're a business owner. 
If they're an employee at a company, uh, it's most likely not going to be relevant at all. But that's a form of, of, of insurance that typically provides that if you remain disabled for a period of at least a year or in or about a year, then the policy may make monthly payments or a lump sum payment to whoever's identified as the owner and beneficiary of the policy, typically the business, which gets reimbursed for buying out the shareholder or the owner of the part. 